Today we begin our work with chapter 10 on the geometry of solids. So far what we have done this year is mostly involved two-dimensional figures, although we did talk a little bit about surface area back in chapter 8. Today we're going to talk about the space inside of a shape, the volume of the shape, but actually we're going to start off with some vocabulary related to three-dimensional shapes. And the first page of your notes has a bunch of three-dimensional solids that I have put up here for you. And you can look through those. I tried to include a number of different combinations of prisms, pentahedrons, pyramids, cylinders, cones. These are the main solids we're going to look at. And they do change names based a lot of times on their base shape. Like if the base is a hexagon in a prism, it'll be a hexagonal prism. If it's perpendicular to the base, it'll be a right prism. And if uh, you have something that's kind of tilted off to the side, it's called oblique. But we'll define those terms more specifically in a minute here. But you can use this page as a reference for some of the solids if you're confused on what something might be. So now let's go to the second page of the notes. Today's notes is going to be back to vocabulary. We've been going through a few units now of calculations related to, well, hypotenuse, legs of triangles. We were doing trigonometry. We were doing area. We were doing lots of formulas. And we will do formulas in this unit as well. But we're back to some vocabulary to start out. And the first term is called a polyhedron. Now, really, we should... Step back just a moment and remember what a polygon is. So I'd like you to put polygon at the top of your page. Remember, a polygon is, I'm just going to put it kind of in my own words here, but a flat shape uh, consisting of straight sides that enclose one area. Most of the shapes that we think about, two-dimensional shapes anyway, flat shapes, are polygons. And things that are not polygons, a circle is not a polygon because it doesn't consist of straight sides. Anything that has curved sides would not be a polygon. But that gets us into the word polyhedron. So the word polyhedron is a solid formed by polygons. So a solid, meaning a 3D three-dimensional shape, a uh, solid formed by polygons that enclose a single region of space. Okay, so that gets at that three-dimensional part. So a polyhedron has, say, triangles for all its sides, but it's three-dimensional and it encloses that space. There's no open sides to it. That's what a polyhedron is. Now a tetrahedron, you might know the word tetra. A lot of these prefixes here come from either Greek or Latin. And if you've ever played the game Tetris on a video game Tetris, you'll know that all of those shapes consist of four little blocks. And in fact, tetra means Four. So it is a polyhedron with four faces. So you have a picture of a tetrahedron here, and that shape might look familiar, but it does actually have four sides, um, and all of those sides are triangles. And that is called a tetrahedron. A regular tetrahedron is a polyhedron with all congruent faces. Oops. And the faces meet at each vertex in exactly the same way. So 
So below here we have a bunch of regular polyhedrons, and notice that we have that tetrahedron again, and what's different about these is that all of their faces are congruent, so all four faces of this tetrahedron are all congruent triangles, and all four faces of this cube right here are all squares, and all the faces of this octahedron here are back to congruent triangles again, but there's eight of those, octa means eight, so there's actually eight of those triangles that enclose that space, the dodecahedron. There are 12, 12 regular pentagons here that enclose the space, and that icosahedron where there are 20. And so if you look at all of those, if you look at any particular vertex, so if you take a look at this vertex here, or this vertex here, or this vertex, or this vertex, Look at all of the places where you basically the shape has a little point to it. All of th those vertices on the same shape all have the same number of faces meeting at the same in the same way. <clears throat> all right, so you've got all four faces meeting here. You've got three faces meeting at this point here. All right, you've got three faces meeting at this point right here um, on these. All right, here, like, for instance, this point, you've got five different faces meeting at that point, and that's true throughout the polyhedron. So they have these similar characteristics to them, and those are what are called regular polyhedrons. And you see some of these as dice in certain types of games. Of course, the cube is used as a die in some games, but you might recognize some of these other ones because they are also used as dice in different games as well.